Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I, or video, that uh, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> um, something. Welcome back to something. <laughs> whatever you want to call it. It's, I, I really don't have more. <sighs> Give me a moment, let, let me turn on the lights. Obviously, I know it's a bit dark in here. There we go. That's nice. We'll make it white. Like, fairly white. There we go. How's that? Too bright? Maybe a little bit alright? I don't think this is okay with you guys. So maybe the camera could be put up just a tad more. Yeah, that's a bit better. So, welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I have the versus mode now uh, on the game, and also the Torment of Power map. So, what better way to enjoy it than to go in the Tournament of Power and face Golden Frieza as MUI, or uh, as uh, Ultra Instinct? Full, like full Ultra Instinct, because Ultra Instinct Omen would be, you know. Uh, anyway, um, I also have Gohan, uh, full power Super Saiyan, and Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue Evolved, or Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Evolved, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and I'm going to be Ultra Instinct with Surge. Which will activate the entire Ultra Instinct. It will be a bit laggy. Trust me when I say it's not actually like this whenever I'm not recording. I've said this before. I I've mentioned that it's much better before um, when I'm not recording. And I, I guess, like, I I'm gonna need, like, an extra stick of RAM or something to make recording a little bit smoother for games like this. But obviously, you can tell it does want to work a little better. You can tell it's it's a kind of there. Ultra Instinct Auto Dodge. <laughs> Try and hit me, Vegeta. Or, I'm sorry, uh, not Vegeta, uh, Frieza. Sorry. My mistake. Don't flame me in the comments for that, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know my Dragon Ball better than most people that make Dragon Ball videos and don't know anything they're saying and then stick to it. Hint, hint, wacky cast, and other people who make name mistakes and say that, oh, is that a Kamehameha? No, it's more like a Key Blast wacky. Sorry to say it, but do you know your Dragon Ball stuff? <laughs> like, I hate when YouTubers talk about Dragon Ball and shit, and they have no idea what they've said and how wrong it truly is. Like, it's so bad. Like, they say it, and then they just stick with it for the rest of eternity. I, I don't know why YouTubers, especially famous YouTubers, do that. And as much as I would want to put it in the comments, I feel like I would get flamed again, or still yet, if I said, Wacky, do you know your Dragon Ball? I mean, if I even put that in the comments section when Wacky or a, a famous YouTuber fucks up their, like, knowledge of something, that's... You know, obviously a big fandom, and the fandom people are going to obviously be really pissed about that. And, like, it's just, like, a thing where there will be people that stick up and argue on the behalf of the famous person, right? And so, obviously, it's a choice of whether or not you'd want to deal with those people, honestly. So, I'm the kind of guy that just, I could, I just don't want to. Because I know the after effects, and so... I do sometimes just step down and say, you know what, I'm gonna just keep it inside my gut and I'm just gonna swallow it. Just gonna swallow it and forget it happened. The Ginyu Force full team. Ooh, that could be interesting. Hmm. 
wonder if there's actually full teams of other stuff. Ooh, Virginia Gray 8. Ooh, that could be nice. I want to go with someone that would obviously have a good bit of power. Let's do... I know that technically Beerus and Whis couldn't perform in the actual Tournament of Power and they were spectators. However, I would like to see... Mira! We're gonna have to do that. And don't get me wrong, I know that they're level 100s, but that's for starter purposes. Because I want to get used to it first. I don't want to put it as level 200 or 300 just yet. Because I, I want to... I, I still want to... You know, obviously warm up to this whole stuff first, of course. Come on. Come on, Mira, hit me. Hit me. Hit me. <laughs> hit me. I forgot there's a way you have to actually get out of that. My bad. Wasting time because of a little bit of a mess up, but it's all right. Technically speaking, Goku would be able to use the ultimate spirit bomb, or like the, the largest spirit bomb he has, um, within the form of, um, like ultra ultra instincts, like the, the, the ultra instincts surpassing ultra instinct. Um, I could just say Mastered Ultra Instinct to make it easier, but there's actually someone, a YouTuber that I watched, that said, that had an interesting take on what Mastered really is, actually. And I do agree with him. Because he said that, is a form truly Mastered if you can't walk around town or um, use it as your everyday natural form? Like, if you can't go grocery shopping and if you can't, you know, use it the same way that they did whenever they were in the, um, you know, the Cell Saga. Um, like, during that whole thing where they were just, like, Super Saiyan that whole entire time when they came out the Time Chamber. And they were just going about their daily lives as a Super Saiyan. And I, I agree with him on that part. Um, I don't remember the YouTuber's name, but I do agree with him what he... Um, when he made a video about this uh, exact topic. And I, I do agree with him on that. Is it form truly mastered if it can't be used for everyday purposes? If you can't keep the form on and it, you know, eventually will just turn off because you run out of energy and stuff, right? Is the form actually mastered? That's the better question. And I do agree with him on that. So... Entirely speaking, even if I could, you know, say it's Mastered Ultra Instinct in the game, because, yeah, it could be unlimited use and stuff, on a canon term, on a canon term, it wouldn't be that. Because Akiri Torama, from what I know, I have heard that he is continuing with stuff, but I don't know the limitations of that. I don't know the actual grounds of it. But as far as I'm aware... The actual production of Dragon Ball on a wide scale, like, you know, like, uh, when it pre premiered on Adult Swim all those times. Like, the original Dragon Ball, maybe some of the Dragon Ball movies, and even Dragon Ball Super, the entire series. Um, on a large scale like that, I'm pretty sure Dragon Ball Super was the end of it. And so, as far as big end canon goes... Like, actual, like, canon series and stuff, and not fan-made stuff and all. Um, the Ultra Instinct isn't actually mastered. As of actual, real canon and actual official... Um, as far as, like, actual official um, 
announcement or th- whatever goes by Akira Tamarama. I don't think he, like, Akira Torama has said that Master Ultra Instinct, um, or Ultra Instinct has been officially mastered yet. I don't know. I, I could be wrong. Maybe there's, like, a side series where he did kind of give Goku the time to master it and stuff, as well as Vegeta with their, with his, um, evolved blue. But, as per my knowledge, this is what I know. So, whatever you guys might know could be completely different, and, well, that's on you. Um, that, that's, that's your topics, that's your opinions, whatever, right? But as my uh, personal knowledge, um, from what I understand, Ultra Instinct isn't actually mastered as of yet. He can't really go around town just you know, appearing as Ultra Instinct Mastered um, all of the time. When, like, going shopping, driving cars, whatever Goku does in his daily life. There, I, I, As far as my knowledge goes, he can't just withstand the form all the time like that yet. So, you know. I kind of want to go against the Ginyu Force. Yeah, yeah, I know. That was a bit fucked, because, yeah. Uh, I didn't have the form on, I know, I know, I know. Come on, hit me. Well, go on, hit me. Die. Uh, I'll admit, this is fun. <laughs> this is actually pretty fun. Though... What I'm going to do is actually go against, um, both, well, no, all three, Mira, Whis, and Beerus. Well, uh, Mira, Whis, Beerus, and Supreme Kai, maybe? Why not? We'll do all of them. Oh, we did our, we already did Mira. Um, that's fine, we'll do him again. <laughs> we'll just, uh, try and rush this. It's fine. Okay, a bit of lag, that's fine. I mean, it could mean something that's not fine, but as far as I know, it hasn't reached that yet, so... For right now, it's fine. Damn. A simple Kamehameha took this guy out? <laughs> Mira, next is Whis. Please hit me. There we go. Sorry, Whis, but you've got to go. <laughs> I'm just obliterating, obliterating these foals. I could move it up to 300. It wouldn't really be all that bad. But if you guys want me to go through the difficulties of, um, 
level 200s and 300s, let me know. And there actually is different um, parts on uh, level 300s. There's basic, hard, extreme, and all that. Like, there's, um, there's a few different kinds of 300s, and I will... Um, But yeah, there's different kinds when it gets to, like, 300 area. And if the basic 300s aren't of your, or, you know, to liking, then you guys could always just tell me in the comments and we could, you know, sort that out. But obviously, um... As of right now... Um, we will take our time with this until, um, some people want some ideas, and, um, uh, we'll go through those ideas and, um, see how the video turns out. <laughs> so we did Whis, Beerus is next. Beerus, we're coming to whoop your ass. <laughs> He's gonna pay for that. Oh, hell no. Goodbye, Barris. Have a nice day. I will admit, this is a, a little too easy. But hey, a little bit of a, another demonstration on what's to come wouldn't hurt, right? Obviously, now that we can do this, um, this these demonstrations will um, obviously become much more exciting down the line. Supreme Kai. Well, come on, hit me. <laughs> he doesn't care. Well, damn, don't kill him on your own. Goodbye, Supreme Guy. It's been nice knowing you. <laughs> oh, poor Supreme Guy. Oh, that's great. Oh. Future Android 17 and 18. Should we? I don't see why not. does nothing to me. It practically just tickles. <laughs> Goku, no, stop. Oh. Sorry, you're both going down. <laughs> 
one shot too. <sighs> I was I I didn't even know like um I I didn't even know one of the androids were in the way. <laughs> I, I guess it was just luck that they were in the way as well. Well, at least for me it was luck. For them, not really. Hmm. Should we do... We could do, like... We could do Kid Boo, which was, like, the last enemy in the main game. Though... So, well, no, I guess it's fine. Oh, you're playing unfair, are you? No, no, no. Teammates are going to defeat him if he... Uh, okay. There we go. <laughs> Warp Kamehameha. Or Instant Transmission Kamehameha, I guess, if you want to call it that. We could give this one a try. try. I mean, it would be kind of fun. Oh, they are all on the Tournament of Power Arena. That's funny. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Wait, there's a time limit on this one? I... I, I didn't rem I don't remember a time limit being on this one. It's got so chaotic that you can't even see him anymore. Goku's non existent. Holy shit. My god, Goku. <laughs> see a bit of the aura there. This obviously isn't right. Game might crash. <laughs> this is all kinds of fucked up. Like, if this was actually in the anime, I'm pretty sure, Go like, Vegeta and Gohan would be staring over, like, the supposed direction where Goku is, and they'd be like, what the fuck? And Vegeta would just drop his fucking mouth being like, yeah, no, I don't want to surpass Goku anymore, I'm good. <laughs> Vegeta would just be like, yeah, no, I'm good. I don't care to surpass Goku anymore, I'm good. Kakarot can surpass me only once. In fact, I think he has. He's transcended past reality itself. <laughs> so far past reality, you can't even see the fucker. Like, he's just non existent at all. Character, sprite, and everything. <laughs> What a load of bullshit! 
This is some dumbass shit. I'm gonna get to, to like 150 and then start using Warp Kamehameha over and over and over again. <laughs> Look at this! Goku doesn't even exist anymore! <laughs> like, even when normal stuff's happening, like Goku heading towards them with punches and stuff, he just doesn't exist! Goku has transcended the fabric of existence as a whole. <laughs> what the hell is this? Goku, I knew you surpassed, like, even the gods, but what the fuck? This is something not even the gods could even imagine at all. <laughs> like, Ultra Instinct was always, like, in the gods' book and all that, but I mean, like... Goku, you're plain invisible now. <laughs> this isn't even anything to do with Dragon Ball. This isn't a thing that... What is this? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Goku doesn't exist anymore! <laughs> he really is invisible. Oh shit! If I get out of this form and stuff, does it fix him? Oh no, he's still invisible. What the fuck? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Goku, you poor thing. Did I just break the game? Is Goku's sprite just forever gone? What if I just start spamming spirit bombs? <laughs> Am I gonna break the game this way? Bullshit. Isn't there like 999 of these enemies total? They're not meant to be, um, all beaten at once, are they? Like, how would you even do that in a time limit? Especially, like, a really short one. Like, you would think that would take multiple hours. Like, at least, like, maybe a full hour or two, even. And that would probably be at the very least.
total overkill. <laughs> This ain't right. I mean, like, it's cool, don't get me wrong, but it's so wrong. It, it's so unfair. I might just start playing it on the uh, <laughs> PC rather than the Xbox. If Goku's, um, if Goku's avatar, sprite, or whatever you want to call it doesn't show up, uh, after this battle, I'm going to restart the game because you can actually get into Ultra Instinct Omen. And I want to be able to show you guys that too, since this, doing this would actually be a great way to do that. I can't. Guys, I hope this is a great demonstration of the ultimate bullshit that I can do with this game now. It's utterly ridiculous. Oh no. <laughs> S 
so we may have to restart the game. <laughs> Let me see if loading into another place might fix it. Maybe if I load back to here. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't have to restart the game. Maybe he'll uh, fix himself. It might just force us to restart because it might detect that Goku's um character. Uh, it might detect that Goku's character visual is broken <laughs> and force us to restart the game due to a uh, game crash or like a game error. <laughs> Nope, okay, good. We're fine. Crisis averted. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate how to activate the UI Omen as well, because that's exciting. What time is it? It's three in the morning. I should not be making a video right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. It's fine. I'll finish it up soon. Trial of Valor. It's activated in its own unique way. We'll do this first. Hopefully that works. Yeah! That totally worked. Here we are. Oh, this is just cool. How cool is this? I mean, come on, just look at this. <laughs> okay, so, um, the way that EY Omen is uh, obtained is you would want to go into Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Kyo Kaioken times 20, and then do a entire uh, melee combo by just spamming click. And at the end of that combo, at the finisher part, you want to immediately then press V to access the super attacks, and then do the ultrasonic fist, which will then activate Ultra Instinct Omen.
So you can stand there and take that? Really? Okay. Overpowered. Completely overpowered. They all aim for me when, like, I have a whole set of teammates that they could go after. Like, a margin of them goes after the actual player. And then, like, <laughs> they don't even focus on, like, the teammates that I have for some reason. I, I don't know why that's the case. It's probably an obvious reason for it, but I'm not really the guy to explain it, so... I can change Goku's outfit, too, obviously. And so, um, I could change other characters' outfits as well. I could change Vegeta's outfit and Gohan's outfit. So if you guys want to see specific outfits for specific fights or um, specific uh, moments and stuff, what, like if you guys want to see a outfit change and stuff, uh, let me know. And I will try getting that working. And I uh, not only working, but um, I'll also feature in a video, of course. Though you have to keep in mind, I can't mod the game while I'm playing the game, so um, I'll only be able to do one outfit change, um, like uh, after every time I make a video on the game. It's so, like uh, one outfit change, maybe like per video that I make of this game. So if you guys have any uh, outfit ideas of uh, the outfits you can think of, as the first outfit that comes to mind, um, when you think about um, Dragon Ball characters, or at least like the ones that I can play as um, in this game, like the actual characters that I'm normally able to play as, let me know and I will happily try to get those outfits going. I believe the playable characters are Goku, Vegeta, Trunks, the future grown-up Trunks, um, Gohan, uh, Piccolo, was there one more? I don't think there was any more, but I think that's like, uh, the characters you're normally able to play as, and so those characters I'm able to change the outfits of.
I will let them get to 200. And then I will end the video off at that point. Uh, as you can tell, my teammates don't really do much, <laughs> as every other game, apparently. When you have, like, you know, a party, um, like, a amount of members in a party or something, and they're controlled by AI and all that. Obviously, this game has the same problem. They don't do much. They expect the player to be doing the majority of stuff. And so they don't really have the AI-controlled um, party members or team members do much. Obviously, that doesn't have to be the case. It's just that most game developers tend to do that, obviously. They want the player to be engaged with the game more than the AI, of course. And so, um, in games like this that have, like, party AI-controlled AI party members or, like, team members... They can have, um, they'll make sure that the, those AI team members and stuff and whatever don't actually take out the majority of, uh, enemies and stuff that you deal with. They'll, um, the developers and stuff will try to have that be done on the player's part as much as possible. And I guess, in a way, I do agree with that, but at the same time, in certain situations, uh, that would become heavily problematic. And I'm pretty sure there's certain situations should be obvious, but in case some people don't know, I'll give an example. Um, the pre one place that this would be problematic would be, say, for example, um, whenever you're a little bit weak and you can't actually uh, handle the enemy that uh, you're put up against, and you do have an AI-controlled team member, and so if you can't handle the... Um, opponent you're put up against, um, due to, like, you know, power differences, then, obviously, um, that's where a actual helpful, uh, AI-controlled, um, teammate would be very helpful. If they, like, put in a bit more, if they did more, and that's where that would be actually, that would actually, that's where that would become very helpful for the AI to not just sit around barely doing anything. And so, it would be helpful for, trying to figure out what my, No, uh. Ah, here we go, X. Got it. Now they're doing something. God, Gohan, why do you suck at hammer sledging? There. I believe I can actually... Z combos. How does one activate a Z combo?
Trying to figure this out. There we go. X and N. <laughs> nice! So, they now have gotten to 200. And so, I think I will happily put this off here. Uh. Oh. You know, I'm gonna get to like 270. gonna spam the Z combo a little bit. There. Okay. So I'm going to happily end it off here. We've been recording for... Almost an hour. Okay. So, again, let me know if you have any outfit ideas as well in the comments below, and I will happily do that, um... You know, every time I make a video on this game. Because can't change mods while in the game, so... Uh, if you have any other things you'd like to say or have planned, um, that I don't think of, um, you know, feel free to put it in the comments so I can get to them and hopefully make a video on it, which would be fun, of course, as long as the game accepts it. Um, there is uh, a problem with this game where it will, uh, crash a lot of times, and for unknown reasons. It's usually, I think, the main cause would be uh, the mods clashing with um, the normal game coding and stuff, and so when they go battling out, right, I think um, they reach a limit to, or they limit, they reach a point where uh, the original game coding wins over the mods, and so it ends up having a game error, which then needs to close because a dependency is having uh, struggles. And so a few game restarts and stuff will usually fix it, and I hope it never gets out of hand to where it makes it crash every single time, but a f like a simple game restart, maybe a few, will sim uh, sometimes fix it. And um, other than that, Mods are a little bit iffy for this game. That's my only note to it. Um, it does work, though, at times, um, when it wants to. <laughs> but um, I, I think this footage of the game was actually kind of better. I think it ran a bit more smoothly. Um, at least uh, from what I can tell. And so, um, I guess that's it. If you guys want to see more... Uh, let me know, and I'll come back to this game. Until the next time, I make a video. Bye.